What's up, Tom Keepers? Me, Tom Gamer here. Gonna be trying out a small little game for you guys called Mary's Room. So if ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. All right, Time Keepers. So today I'm gonna be trying out a small little game called Mary's Room. It's a free little game. It's a narrative-driven game on Steam. I'd like to start off by apologizing for last week. I only did two videos last week, and I didn't mention anything on Twitter or anything like that. I was a bit sick last week. I still am actually sick right while I'm recording these. But uh, yeah, I would like to apologize for only putting out two videos last week. So there will be, hopefully this week, many more videos. Uh, hopefully five of them for Monday to Friday. So we'll get started with a small little interested, uh, inter interesting looking narrative driven game. Uh, it's a, it has over, overly positive, positive uh, reviews on Steam. So if you want to try it out, it's on Steam for free in the free to play games or on uh, newly releases depending when you're watching this and uh let's just jump right in so let's go all right let's start this small little game didn't want to come back why would i after all that's happened even in here mm -hmm. so where is the journal oh okay hello okay so the quality is a bit lower for my pc like usual if you guys are used to the channel uh so sorry about that which to, should still be a fun experience, nonetheless. So we're trying to find a journal. Oh, cracking floors. Nice little music. Hold open door, I guess. Oh, that's a... That's an advanced fucking frame there that can change pictures. I wonder which one's Mary. I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm one of that, these girls, so... The bathroom makes sense. All right, I guess this is the proper room. Looks like it. Achievement unlock. Welcome to Kelsey. Back to Kelsey. Okay, so I'm Kelsey. Going to Mar Mar Mary's room. Makes sense. All right. Um. Mary's journal. Okay, I guess this is what's what we were looking for. Hey, Kelsey. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. Mm. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I love you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. All right. Really. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Okay. Now we're getting into meat, the meat and potatoes of this. Okay, we're back. Okay. We went back to the pass. Okay, I have a dream. Someone's asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. Okay, that's one way of looking at it. That's that one way. I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Okay. Phone. That's a phone? That's Trevor's phone number. Oh, okay. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything, but she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Okay. So we're filling out a journal as we're going, so that's good, at least. Uh, swimsuit. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really. <laughs> I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he okay. wasn't there. Just to be clear, but someone else was. That's creepy. Bike helmet. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Probably. But, uh, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. <laughs> All right. All right, books, shopping bags. So we're she loved 
being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Who's Mr. Torres? It's fun where the story basically is we're learning slowly but surely about the life of Mary and Kelsey together. Of what their friendship and stuff like that. So, keys. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys. So I'd feel at home. Okay. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Okay. Check doormat. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah. It took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. Okay, so I can actually... Some items can be picked up. That's interesting. Takeout menus. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. <laughs> Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. <laughs> when I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside. Just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Oh, that's sad. All right. Search Kelsey's jacket. Good. She asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt. Any player would have passed. <coughs> I chose to be angry instead. But Marie... My friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested oh. I deal again. I'm assuming this is metaphorically and not actual. Come, a new deal. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Okay, can I check a journal or? No, oh, there's no journal. Okay. All right, let's see. T-shirt. Food. The fuck does it say? Food receive or okay. There's no such thing as food waste, and don't I know it? The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever, and the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what okay. it took. Anything interesting here? Surprised the pictures are not a uh, pizza boxes. Okay. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Okay. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. All right. Interesting. Open drawer. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at food rescue. He was stabbed, almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the mm. hospital for a while, stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. Hmm, that's unfortunate. All right. Journal update. Smoking jar. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Okay, okay. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Okay. Hmm. Turn on deep. <coughs> Sorry about that. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Okay, are we purposely not able to see a full image on the TV? I'm assuming so. Whiteboard. Chemistry holds no surprises. <coughs> Love that. Okay. Poster. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her, the weird kid, talked boring. <laughs> so yeah, we settled on antimatter because who wants to be boring? 
Well, math. Technically, math is not boring because you sort of need it to figure out time travel, don't you? I don't know. Technically. Technically. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. <laughs> Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Picture. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive <laughs> care. That was a nasty knife wound. Okay, so we know that's because of the, uh, of the rob, the rob, the robbing, robbing. Okay, so I think I pretty much saw everything in this corner. Let's keep going slowly. Rip t-shirt. Trevor, what an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt. Until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Hmm. At least someone stopped you. Stopped that uh, broken window. She was my friend. <coughs> so I came back here, throwing stones at the window. Okay. But she didn't react. So that, that's I the stone, the okay. Stone, and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. I, I like the way the way it's doing the story where everything, every little thing has a story to it and it's it's linking it all together slowly but surely. So like one thing like eventually I, I'm, I'm assuming at the end we'll, we'll know what happened to Marie by the time we get done with this room. So let's go with the laptop. Nothing here. Oh boy. Uh, Kelsey? She must have written it down here. So. I'm not a... Okay. Fudgeo is that? I'm not a library. Library. Damn, what's the password again? Fudge. Open notebook. Maybe it's here. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. <laughs> then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Oh, that's sad. Oh, don't tell me I'm the cool kid like that doesn't... World map. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. Russia. Sure. I don't think she ever went. Record player. <coughs> Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones's swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. That night, so it's probably probably reference to something. Sorry, that music just gets a bit loud. I wore those a lot, not to protect my eyes, but to hide them. All right. I didn't want anyone to know. Nothing in this final box. Ooh, beer bottle. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we just <coughs> bought it once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Hmm. Bumblebee, okay. Search kills the backpack. Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. 
The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. So they have a weird relationship, what I'm understanding here. So there's a password somewhere, but I don't know where it is. And I have no reflection. Did I do everything here? Is there a way to access the journal? Hmm. She asked me why I was so angry. Okay. Oh. The green eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. <laughs> okay. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. Okay. So now I have to crouch because I missed some stuff. Name badge. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be. Until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Worse than being hungry. Okay, so there's something... Something happened between them, or I don't know. Kate's. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Okay, now we're, we're in a puzzle. Hmm. Am I missing something? Okay. Okay, I can see. It's telling me. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Three. One. Four. Three, four. Okay, okay. Now I get this. Now I get this. Okay. <laughs> There's more stuff I need to find here. Orange peels. <laughs> Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath its skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Okay. They're very picky about what I'm looking for here. La la land. Lorraine, for my little Mary Curie. mom died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Okay. I sat on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Alrighty. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, mm. I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Yeah. 
He had money. You see? He bought me things. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Okay, so we're sort of a drug dealer ex-boyfriend, assuming. 